Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Sandra Lands. I'm one of the consultants here. One of the medical students has just handed over to me. I need to just chat to you about your history and why you came in today. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Can I just check your name? Uh, ben. Ben. Okay. It's okay if I call you Ben. Yeah, that's fine. And what's your what's your date of birth, please? Um, it is uh, the 27th of January, 1965. Great. And happy birthday for today, then. Oh, thank you. Okay. Can you just tell me a bit what brought you in today? What the symptoms you've been having, please? Uh, yeah, I've been getting just this sort of chest pain and a bit of breathlessness for the last couple of weeks. Um, okay. I just thought I'd come in for it. Yeah, sure. I think the GP sent you up here. So just tell me, whereabouts is the chest pain? Um, it sort of went over here on the left, maybe sort of in the middle of the chest. Okay. A bit sort of, a bit deeper. Okay, a bit deeper. Um, and when you, what brings on the pain? Um, it normally comes on when Sort of, I guess maybe I'm walking around, so okay. I think the time where it's sort of most common is when I'm walking my kids to school. Right. Okay. Yeah, but that's a bit frightening if you're getting the pain when the, the kids are there as well. So. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Um, and how how what distance is sort of bringing on the pain for you? Um, well, it's about like from the time I walked up two two and a half miles, but it's normally maybe about halfway in. Okay. And just going back to the pain now, does the pain, what did you say the pain felt like? Um, it, it sort of feels like it's like weighing me down, sort of crushing pain. Right. Okay, and does the pain move anywhere apart from the middle of the chest? Um, well, where else would you normally? Does it go up into the neck at all? Um, a, a, a little bit, yeah, sort of on the same side. Yeah, into the jaw at all? Um, yeah. Does it go down the arm? Um, sort of up to the shoulder, but that's about it. Okay, just hand and toe now. Um, and does anything make the pain better when it comes on? Uh, I normally sit down for a little bit. I feel like I have to sit down and then I'll rest for a bit and then, and then it gets better after that. Okay. You've not been given the medication for it at all? Um, for the pain? No. Uh, no, I probably take some paracetamol if it has any effect. Um, okay. And does anything make the pain worse? I know that you said that it was on exertion. Does anything make it worse? Um, besides that, not really, no. Okay. okay. So I know the chest pain is concerning for you. Just a few more questions about, um, what about, it's not related to eating at all, eating food? Uh, no. No, okay. And do you have any pain when you're sitting down doing nothing? Um, I, I noticed that, like, I noticed it a bit more recently. So I think yesterday and the, like the few days before, it's still that there's been some concern sitting down, or it's been taking a bit longer to mm -hmm. get better. Have things changed over the, the few weeks since it started then? Uh, yeah, I've been noticing it getting a bit worse over that time. Right. You haven't had any pain in your calf at all? No. No, not you coughing anything up at all? No. No, not coughing up any blood? No, no, no. And apart from the chest pain, you're getting. Um, are there any other symptoms? Um, I'm not sure if it's related, but I get a bit out of breath at the time, but I find that that's maybe because of I'm a bit more unfit than I'd like. Okay, right. And the breathlessness, does that happen at any other time? No, it, it seems to be around the same time as the chest pain comes on. Okay, so you're not breathless lying flat at all? No. no. Okay, and there's been any palpitations, any awareness of the heartbeat? Just going back in the past, um, do you, just operations and illnesses, do, do you see a GP for anything regularly? Uh, yes, I go to him regularly for my blood pressure. Okay. Um, and any other illnesses at all? Any operations that you've had done? No. No operations? No. And just some quick fire questions now. Are you, are you diabetic at all? Uh, no. no. And you've never had a heart attack in the past? No, I haven't. A stroke? Um, and you treated for high cholesterol, have you had your cholesterol measured? Um, I think they said they might have to in the future, but I haven't had that to be okay. honest with. Um, and is there a family history of any heart problems? Um, yes, my dad died of a heart attack. Right. Okay, so I can understand you're probably a bit worried whether it's likely the same thing, because you're obviously a similar age to your father. Yeah. Um, so you're on lysinopril, you said to me, 
And um, are you on any other medication? Uh, no. Yeah. Anything? You're allergic to anything as well? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And um, just the sort of home situation. Is anybody with you at home? You mentioned um, your children, you've taken them to school. Yeah, yeah. Um, and my wife as well. So two kids and a wife. Okay. And what do you do for a living? Um, I work in an office for a few days and I'm extremely full time. Right. And do you do any form of exercise normally? Um, we walk to school, we want to see it, but I, I seem to be moving around a lot less generally as well. Okay, okay just some sort of other quick fire questions to check other things. So, like, have you got any headaches at all? Uh, no. No problems with your eyesight? Uh, no. no. Uh, okay, eating and drinking, no problem with that? Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Water works okay? Yeah, no problem. No stinging, burning? No. Seems to be okay? And the bowels, okay? Yeah, I'm all right. No swelling at all in the legs? Uh, no. No rashes? No. Any joint problems? No. Okay. So I understand, what, what are your ideas about what might be going on today? Are you concerned about anything? Um, I'm, as you said, I'm worried that it's things that we might stay inside of. Um, I guess that was the last comment. Yeah, well, we're going to get to the bottom of it and try and we'll, you know, do some tests now immediately find out what's going on and what do you sort of what are you expecting out of the visit today in terms of um, checking into things I think you know, maybe have a look at my heart maybe see if anything's wrong with it okay. see if anything needs done about it okay well we're going to get an ECG done right away have a look at what's going on okay okay thank you Ben